Jan Pink said, questions by their very nature elicit an active response. When you truly consider a question, it automatically puts your mind to work because it's trying to come up with an answer to that question. The idea of asking a question to ask, what if, what about this? Uh, what would happen if I did something here? Those types of questions are abstractions. In order to get anywhere, you have to be able to come up with uh, some abstractions because you have to be able to uh, weigh the options of your answers. You have to be able to question and consider so that you can then make some wise decisions moving forward. Being able to consider someone else's hypothetical question is also really important. It requires you to be capable of simply conversing, of communicating. It takes communication, and communication takes language. Mathematics is language. You have to be able to play with others following a set of rules and keeping track of those set of rules and not breaking them. Otherwise, it leads to confusion. Some people, when asked what if about things, can get really irritated. Perhaps their thinking is along the lines of, well, that can't happen, so I'm going to shut it out. If you think about this as a child on the playground, this would be a really annoying playtime situation. If you were asking some playtime questions and someone just got irritated and walked away, that wouldn't be much of a conversation. George Bulos said, Our ability to reason about alternative possibilities, even in everyday life, would be almost completely paralyzed were we to be denied the use of the law of excluded middle. Now, the law of excluded middle is to say that there is no middle ground. Either something is true or it is false. There's no in-between in thing that it could be. The ability to abstract is fundamental to math. Abstract thinking is the ability to think about things that aren't physically present. Uh, it has to do with just identifying some kind of unknown. And this is fundamental to algebra, things like finding x. Your perspective can change, and it's allowed to do so. When you see something from a new point of view, that actually gives you further understanding about whatever that thing is. If it wasn't possible to change your perspective, life would be pretty bland. There's a famous phrase that there are two sides to every coin. You might be able to look at this progression and think that now I see the picture, this must be something like a coin as it gradually begins to turn in different directions. However, if you just saw one of them, your initial reaction might be, well, this is a line, or simply, well, this is a circle. Gaining perspective, gaining vision, gaining more insight gives you more understanding, and it relies heavily on your ability to abstract and answer the fundamental questions of what if.